Hi, this is Dallas Box Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Gateway to the Savage Frontier. Um, this is the part of Escor that we had gotten to where we left off. We're on our way to this little room here that apparently is only accessible if you have a knock spell memorized by one of your mages, not just on a scroll. So let's get out of... I like moving in regular view instead of area view most of the time. Yeah. Though I admit area view does have its advantages. Door is locked. Okay, let's try that. This room is dark, but for a deep red glow to your right. A giant shadowy figure, too tall to fit in such a tiny room, stands before you. Its voice sounds like distant thunder as it demands, Who disturbs my work? Uh, let's tell the truth. A small man steps from the shadows. You record his mumbling as journal entry 56. Okay, so now he's not sounding like thunder. I search and search. I find the hidden. I solve the unsolvable. I find the reason within chaos and harmony from the stars. Valgamon has entrusted to me the riddle of the mirror maps, so they shall not defeat me. Already I've confirmed much of that of what they tell and soon I shall give the general everything he seeks and more he asks why have you come you reflect well then you'd best be going now only when the party again stands outside do you ask each other uh, why do we come back out here okay And now he attacks. Okay, yeah, this is basically another way to get into the mirror maps room if you haven't fought the Ettons before. But he does have some cool magical gear on him, so for the sake of the magical gear. We'll fight him anyway, even though we already know how to get into the mirror map room. Huh, that was easy. Just a couple of magic missile spells did for him. Okay. Okay, I assume it was some gems and jewelry. Not sure about the bracers, I mean about the d dagger, but I believe the bracers are magical. Ah, uh, daggers, uh, not worth bothering with, but yeah. I think we'll have him take the bracers, because I think his bracers aren't... Yeah, he's only got armor class 6, and I think these are armor class 4. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. But I don't think it's safe to rest in here yet. Among the mage's effects, you find a handwritten note. Have you broken the mere spell yet? We have no time to deal with the constant attacks of these petty undead would-be masters of our score. Finish now! Sign V. Okay. We'll save that. And let's get back to that mirror map room. If we go back to the same map we were at before. Okay, should, we should be able to rest safely there. Of course, there are some other mirror maps in there too, but for each one of those we'd have to fight a battle first before we get rest. 
Okay, I think the one entrance is here. Okay, this is the spot where the one mirror map was, so we can should be able to rest here. Okay, and let's continue exploring the room. Okay, we don't want to go through that door quite yet. The tapestry beside this wall, too, has crumbled into dust. Before you can examine the broad mirror, the sound of bones rattling behind you signals the beginning of another battle. Okay, not as many skeletons, but a lot of mummies. And of course, I'm going into these battles without any protective spells prepped. Ooh, cool. But once again, I'm concentrating attacks on the mummies since they are going to be the hardest to turn and can do the most damage. Of course, it also means it's not exactly the brightest thing to do to get into melee range of them. But at least I can cast spells quickly because I know I'll be able to rest immediately afterwards. Now, this would probably be a good point at which to switch to magical arrows. Actually, yeah, there we go. Here we could use up these quarrels. Which did absolutely no good. Yeah, apparently regular arrows do work against the skeletons, but not against the mummies. I could have been using the healing potions out on the streets when I ran out of healing spells. But I suspect I'm going to need them even more when I get to the east side of town. Okay. So, close examination of the mirror on this wall shows that it too holds the faint reflection of a map. You copied in the faded image into your journal as entry number 61, and that's basically another one of those mirror maps which you have to flip or hold up to a mirror to be able to make it match what's really there. So, camp, save, and I think
Oh, let's, we'll have her cast that knock because I don't think we're going to need it again. And no, we don't want to memorize that particular bunch. We'll have her re-memorize mem mirror image again. There. Okay, and there should be one more map in this room. Oh, let's see if... Oh, yeah. This is Tour Guide Wall's twin brother here. And the last map should be here. You're on your guard against further undead attacks. The Ascorian hosts don't disappoint you, charging fearlessly toward the party. Okay. Oh, just the one mummy this time. Fine with me. Uh, I wonder. I think this shield is a plus two. And I believe it doesn't matter what or you visit the mirror maps and you get the same sequence of messages. quick. Yeah, I think we're taking this mirror too holds a faint image of a map. You've copied the faded image into your journal as entry number 58. So it's the third of the mirror maps. We've found all of them now. And we'll just rememorize that one spell that we used. Oh, wait a minute. And no, I don't want to do that. There. Okay. Now, I think we're finally done in this room. We can go ahead and... Oh, we're here. Stips on a loose stone is falls into a hidden bit, suffering two points of damage. You search the trap and find a bag of items. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, some gold. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, hey, at least he got <laughs> his next promotion for that. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll have her take the scroll. And... I have no idea what that sword's like. And we'll have her heal his boo-boo. Two points. Counts as a poo at least when you're this. Okay. Well, I think we'll be able to finish up the area west of the final maze in the next episode, so see you then.